It's just Bruce, he don't bite. <laughs> Hello. Hey folks, welcome back to my shop. I'm Bruce, starting to get my voice back a little bit. I wanted to do a video, um, as you can see by the title, uh, a garage find. I, my entire life, I don't think I've ever found a garage find where that's basically a little hidden treasure in somebody's garage that they didn't know what they had or, you know, some piece of Star Wars history toys you know like the went to grandma's attic and dug out all these star wars toys like people like to say on youtube to be honest with you half of them i think are lying but anyway uh let's get to the point a uh, buddy of mine that i want well, to work with him i'm a chef but one of my he's not even a customer he's a friend of mine okay i'm an officer at an elks lodge and one of the other officers who is a friend of mine uh found something in his garage and he's an older guy it was a star wars poster um, it's right here and what we're gonna do today is I have a feeling it might be worth something uh, or at least piece of history I don't know but I'm see I got the gloves on y'all never see me wear the gloves and stuff you see me working with my stuff I sit here and smoke cigarettes and drink beer don't care but when I get a hold of something like this while I research it I'm very careful it's um, I have so much to say, and I don't know what order to say it in because I'm kind of excited about this. What we're going to do today is we are going to go and see if we can find out what this is, how much it's selling for, it, what it's worth, what it goes with, uh, whatever we can find out about it. We're going to do that together. And it might be a huge disappointment. I don't know, but I guarantee I'm still going to air the video. So you're going to find out the same time I'm finding out. Well, I'm already going to find out about a ton of videos ever, but I'm airing it anyway. So anyway... I want to open this up, and I've already opened it. Like I said, older guy I work with, um, he's a DJ actually, he has his own radio show. And I think that's really interesting and fantastic, he's a local DJ around here. Um, but anyway, he gave me this, and I'm being very gentle with it, because I know it's definitely vintage, whatever it is, it's gotta be vintage. But uh, it's this poster here. I'm gonna show you a better poster on the screen. But what I want to do is, I see on the bottom here, it says 20th Century Fox, printed in USA, 1977. And that is what caught my attention. I, I don't recall ever seeing this. And I'm not an expert by any way, shape, or form on Star Wars toys or Star Wars memorabilia. I'm not an expert. But when I opened this the first time, I looked and the folds are almost immaculate. Um, and then I studied it some more. It's, it looks like a painting that has been printed. Uh, this doesn't look like a photograph or like CGI. It, well, they didn't have CGI back then. But it actually looks like somebody painted this, in my opinion. And then I see a code number up here. And the code number on this corner says 2T541. And that's when I stopped myself. I'm like, this would be a good video to see what I go through whenever I value things. So I'm going to follow it very carefully. We're going to put this in a very safe place. Um, and I'll give you, a, here's a closer look of it, what it looks like there as you can see i mean the artwork on it is just pretty amazing it's it's a it's looks like someone had painted it and of course they printed it out but i saw 1977 on there and the color of the paper and everything let's find out what it is together so of course what we're gonna do we're gonna bring up ebay which i've already got it prepped here i haven't searched this yet okay we're on ebay and i'm gonna type in that code number that I had said, and I can't remember. Oh, there it is. There it is. I don't know what I did wrong. Original Star Wars soundtrack. Now, this is kind of in the shape of an album, isn't it? This must have been an insert to this, maybe. Let's change this to poster poster why didn't my keyboard work poster p-o-s-t-e-r original okay here we go for our first one Original Star Wars 1977, a New Hope movie poster from Soundtrack Record 2T541. This person wants $185 for it. Wow. Let's take a look at it. I don't know why the internet 
got so slow today. All right, that's the same poster. Here's the X Wings, and look down here. Here's what what I want to see. 9077, printed USA. That's what the other mine has. There's the number TT 541. Looks the same. Okay. Apparently, it's worth $185. Or best offer. Take a break. Okay, had to take a little quick break there. Uh, anyway, back to this. Uh, $185 or best offer is the first one that pops up. Apparently, if I'm inferring from this correctly, it was an insert in the Star Wars LP soundtrack that we had back then. I had that when I was a kid, but I don't remember seeing the poster. I'm usually pretty good about remembering stuff like that. I would remember the poster on my wall. I had back then, I had the Bionic Man, $6 million man, and a big Farrah Fawcett poster on my wall. I remember those. I don't remember having that one. I do remember having the LP set, though. I don't know. There it is again. $150. Here's one sixty-nine dollars. That looks pretty raggedy, though. I think actually, I think mine's in better condition. How do I get this click to enlarge? Do, 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 do. Yeah, that one looks a little, a little raggedy around the edges and stuff like that. And they want sixty-nine dollars for that one. So sixty-nine is a low one. One hundred and eighty-five was the high one. And looking at the corners and stuff on this, it's not curled. It hasn't been taped up. I don't think it's ever been unfolded. Uh, there's the, the the LP set, $39.99. Oh, no poster. No poster. Here's another one, $79.99. Here's a sealed record set, $225. I'm assuming that would have the poster in it. Hmm. Soundtrack record uh, poster insert 1970 original print rare 6850. That's for the record and the poster. Well, um, mm, I don't know. Here's another poster 49.95. So it's a little bit unclear whether this is worth anything or not. I'm here's another one 60 bucks, 90 bucks. So it's pretty much all over the scale between $50 to $185. So I think what I'm going to do, after I get rid of that, what I'm going to do is I am going to keep this. But the edges, or I can't see it on this camera, but maybe you can. The edges are all nice. I don't think this has ever been hung. It doesn't have any tape marks on the back. I don't know how y'all used to hang posters when you were kids. When I was a kid, we used to take a piece of masking tape, we'd double it over, stick it on the back. Or the real dumb kids would scotch tape across the corners and that would ruin your poster well this one has never been hung it's got a nice color to the backing of it I don't want to keep opening and closing it I'm just going to keep that's, that's why I did uh, this picture which I'll throw the picture back up so we know what we're talking about there I know Not it's not going to be a very long video so I'm probably going to leave that part in but as you can see in mine, and I thought, uh, how can I show this? Does my cursor show up? It does. Yeah, it does. Okay. If you look at my cursor, right here is a line. And when I first saw that, I thought it might be right on the fold, like the fold was wearing out. But it's actually the laser coming from this TIE Fighter. The fold is right here, and it, it's not showing much wear at all. It goes right underneath that line. So... I guess maybe I'm nitpicking. I should just be happy that I got a piece of Star Wars history. I think, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to jump back on eBay, and I'm going to buy the album set that doesn't have the poster because I kind of want that back now, and I think I'm going to keep this for myself. Anyway, I know, short video today. I just wanted to show you a garage find that we got, um, you know, found in the wild, as they like to say. Um, I just think it's kind of neat. I think it's neat that it's, you know, I'm going to talk to Gary. That's the guy's name. I'm going to talk to Gary and see if he maybe wants it back since it's going to be worth a little bit of money, but I don't think it is. He gave it to me for my birthday. He found it in his basement in a tool drawer, he said. 
And the funny thing is, the guy's not even a Star Wars fan, so you never know where stuff's going to pop up. Uh, so, yeah, I decided that I'm going to buy the LP set off eBay from somebody else and put the poster in with that for safekeeping. And it's something like everybody knows that watching my videos, I'm trying to... Uh, I'm trying to sell the, most of my collection. I'm just keeping what I want. This is something I used to have when I was a kid, too. So I'm going to go ahead and get it and add it to my own personal collection. I'm not going to sell this poster. Uh, hopefully, I can get a good price on the LP set. We'll see. Because I do have an old uh, turntable laying around here. Yeah, there's some nostalgia for you. Turntables. I don't think young ones. Well, uh, yeah, because uh, vinyl's coming back now. The, my daughter, she likes the vinyl. She has a turntable. and She likes to get the albums and play them like we used to. But I'll tell you what, she ain't going to know what it is. She's not going to know what a cassette tape is. Yeah, those, remember those cassette tapes? Or the 8-track tape, for that matter. That's actually the 8-track, just a little bit before my time, too. Anyway, um, yeah, like I said, you found out when I found out. It's worth anywhere between 50 to 185 bucks. I think it's pretty cool, but I'm going to keep this one for my collection. Hey, uh, check me out at Jenner Custom Toys on eBay. And keep looking for new videos because you never know what I'm going to talk about. I'll catch you next time. Bye. It's just Bruce. He don't bite. <laughs> Hello.